amazing that we actually found Robin in that snow. Even more amazing, we found Emma in the tree. Can't even imagine what would have happened if we hadn't come along. No, we did, and everybody's okay. What was Robin thinking? How could someone as smart as her get herself into that situation? She made a couple of mistakes, Maxie. It happens. She probably made a wrong turn thinking she was going down a familiar street expecting to find houses and people, but it was the woods. When the car broke down, she figured she and the baby could possibly freeze to death, so... I don't know. Seeking shelter had to have felt like the right choice for her. Every choice she made ended up being the wrong one. Except for putting Emma in that tree. Thank God Robin had the presence of mind to find her baby shelter when she thought she wasn't going to make it. Okay, so at the end of the day, she made the right choice? Sort of. Yeah, it was good she put Emma in the tree, but what kind of mother doesn't remember where she put her baby? Robin got disoriented. Maxie with the blizzard and possibly having hypothermia could happen to anybody. Not Robin. You don't know her like I do, okay? My, my cousin is a planner. She's almost obsessed. She has a plan A and a plan B and then two more plans just in case those fall through. It'll be fun once we get to the hospital, okay? You hear that, Emma? Johnny said everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna take care of you. Hey, Sam, have you, uh, I need Spinelli. No, I, I, I don't know where he is. I haven't seen him since whenever. This whole evening has turned into one endless nightmare. Yeah, I just, I need to find out if he can help me get through to Mercy. I need to find out if Robin and Emma were admitted there. Well, I'm sure he would happily hack into one of his computers for you. Go, call him on a PA or something, just whatever he's second, using please. here. I hope he hasn't gone off and done something really crazy. Not that he can get us into any more trouble than we're already in. You don't think you found a way to leave, do you? I don't, I don't know. I mean, he knows that we need him. He's our main source of communications. Besides, he hasn't been gone that long. Patrick, listen, he went into like one of those rants, you know, like he does, and he was obsessing on the Equinox, and I think he, he's afraid that if they're allowed to reclaim the poison, then it's going to become one of those national security secrets, and the world just might not ever know the truth. I, I get all that, but you don't, you don't think he would actually try and do anything dangerous to you? <sighs> he might. I don't know. The question is what? This poison is evil. It must be destroyed. Well, you can't fight the entire Equinox Corporation and the federal government all by yourself. But the Jackal is not fighting solo. He's the Priestess Winifred and, and the powers of Stone Cold and Fair Samantha on the side of right. Then have faith. Equinox Corporation will be held responsible. There are ways to fight them through the system legal ways. If you do what you're planning, it amounts to stealing a classified weapon and turning yourself into an enemy of the state. But perhaps it will save lives. So brave of you, Spinelli, but it's too dangerous. I respect the Priestess. This may be my only opportunity to stop this evil and prevent it from spreading further. They tell me I'm doing better. Is that disappointment I see in your eyes? Dr. Drake, 3406. Dr. Patrick Drake, call 3406. Well, I guess I was warned, right? After all, you told me you were going to betray me. That's the one thing that I could count on. I didn't betray uh, you, Rick. Claudia, I confided in you to protect you. I told you things that could get me killed, and you turned right around and you told Sonny all of it. I never told Sonny how I found out. You gave Sonny I the excuse to, to go and try to kill Anthony. So what? But don't tell me you're going to shed a single tear. You hate him as much as I do. If, so, if Anthony dies, then Sonny gets everything. We're out of the organization with nothing to show for it. What I told Sonny proves my loyalty. I can make sure that you are taken care what of. What is this? Now all of a sudden, you're going to you're gonna sit here and throw me scraps and expect me to feel grateful for it after you... Get out. Get out. No, I'm not that with you. Richie Anthony, where are you going? Do you want to die? Look at me in the eye? Well, you prefer I shoot you in the back so you can run away like the coward that you are. Either way, you're going to die, so. You wouldn't shoot me in the church. That's funny coming from a man who shot my bride at her wedding. No, 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 no. Your bride is my daughter. We're family, Corinthos. Shut up. 
You know, the place where I was going to get mad was a lot bigger than this. A lot of space for a coward like you to hide. You expecting someone? Don't, because there's no one left to rescue you. If Claudia survived, she picked me over you, and actually, Trevor told me where to find you. Claudia is a self-centered, ungrateful wife. What I want to know is what did Kate ever do to you? Why would you kill an innocent woman? There's no such thing as an innocent woman. They're all guilty of something. Even if it's just marrying the wrong man. You set this in motion, Anthony, to manipulate me. It's the biggest mistake you've ever made, and I'm telling you right now, it's gonna cost you. Don't beg. Back to me! Put the gun down, Sonny. Put it down! 